So you're gonna get your instant mac and cheese and you pour them right into a pan just like that. Take away the cheese packets right now. We will use those very soon. So now you're gonna get a can of tomato soup. Pop that bad boy open and lift and then pour this tomato soup right into your macaroni just like that. Now uh, I use about one can per recipe. You can do more if you want and you can add less if you want. But this is my recipe and I really guys want to show you this. So you're gonna get a fork, you're gonna start stirring that in a little bit. Then you're gonna get your cheese packets and pour them in it. I was nervous to share this to you guys because I would get ridiculed online, but here's my thinking and here's why I make it all the time. Grilled cheeses are what? Bread, cheese, and soup. What's mac and cheese? A noodle and cheese. So if I take the way the bread and I substitute it for pasta noodles, then we have tomato mac and cheese. And that sounds absolutely delicious, right? So I did that and I made it for my wife who loves grilled cheeses and she was amazed. So if you have real mac and cheese, you can do that that way too and add some tomato sauce or tomato soup to it. And if you want to make everything homemade, go ahead. But everyone has instant mac and cheese. A lot of people have tomato soup. So it's at the grocery store, super easy to make. I'm not an iron chef here making everything from scratch. This recipe is just super easy for you guys to give it a try. It's one of my guilty pleasures of life. So uh, mix it in and you think about it. As you can see, the sauce starts to form. It looks kind of like a vodka sauce. Nice little orange pink going on and that's what you want. So look at that, that starts to form. That starts to look really good. And you want to get all the cheese chunks going back into it as you can see look at that perfect now you're gonna even it out and now we're gonna go seasoning and the seasonings i use very simple and you don't want to over season because of you have to think about it this is all insta stuff so it's a lot of sodium already but we're gonna add some garlic powder and some black pepper Add a good amount of black pepper to it. You wanna have a little bite, okay? And you're gonna mix that up again. As you can see, it starts to look really, really good and yummy. At first you guys are like, oh no. But now you're like, oh wait, it's starting to look good. Yes, because you eat this all before and you've eaten it all separately too. So it's just really yummy. Next, I'm going to add some spice. If you don't like spice, it's all good, but I do like spice. It's just like adding a good amount of spice. Perfect. And if you don't like spicy stuff, don't, don't make it spicy. But I like my mac and cheese. A little kick, a little bite. Makes everything taste better. Now we're gonna add a handful of mac and uh, cheddar and Monterey Jack to it. So, oh, oh, just two hands. Oh, a little bit more, and that makes it extra, extra cheesy and yummy. So you're gonna mix that all in, just over the top. You don't want to mix it in right now. Just like that. You're gonna pat it. It's gonna make an awesome cheese crust. You can mix it in too. Pat it down. It's looking so good and yummy. Perfect. Now we're gonna toss this in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes. So when it's halfway done, you're gonna get your wrist crackers and place them into a rotation just like this. And all of this is starting to look so good and yummy. Just place as many crackers as you have or have left. So I have these many. And these are like the breadcrumbs, the crunchy parts. 
I have one left, I just crunch it on top. Perfect. And then you're gonna add a handful of cheese again, like a, like a slight topping. Sprinkle here and there. I'm missing everywhere, but it's all good. So we're gonna throw that in, because I'm a big boy. I'm growing. It's hot, so be careful. Really get in there and scoop up. Ooh, look at that crust, look at that. Look at that. I have this fork here. Everything is cooked. It's none of it's raw. If you guys didn't think it was gonna be raw. So I'm gonna give it a little try. But first I like to add chives. Do they add any flavor? I don't know. Does it look prettier? Yes. That looks great. Okay, so let me let me dig in for you so you can look, look at that. that. Cheese. Look at that. See? Oh. If your mac and cheese don't sound like that, you did it wrong. It's super hot. One second. Ooh. Hot. It's buttery, it's salty, it's savory, it's spicy, it's sweet. Mm. Oh, oh my God.